and welcome! Today I am super duper excited because today is the day where I launch my new concept which is called Sundays with Joss's Jungle. With me today I have Tarzan. Tarzan you have met in my Boas video, he was Timmy's very very first snake. Tarzan is gonna be here with us today celebrating this very first episode of Sundays with Joss's Jungle. I would like to say thank you to all of you. The channel is really, really booming and I'm having a hard time keeping up. I really am, but I do my best. I try to make videos as often as I can and I really try to answer every single one of you in the comments. I've also noticed that you've started to answer each other, giving each other advice. I absolutely love that. I really do condone that. Just keep, keep a good tone and really just help each other. This is what this is all about. So please guys, do keep on doing that. I absolutely love seeing everybody help each other. Thank you to all of you. The first news I want to share today is that my Grandma Stola Potiri, my tarantula, well actually my very very fast tarantula, her name is Princess, she molded not long ago. Usually these guys are slow growers, so I'm really really excited every time they molt and she went through it just perfectly. She was hiding underneath her hide for a couple of days, I discovered the molt and after a couple of days she just crawled back out and she was looking so so stunning. As she you can see here on the pictures her colors are so vibrant after a mold. She's like I said before she's all pink. She is uh, she's so pretty. I, I really really love her. So that's one really really exciting news. The next one of course as you may have noticed I did make a video about it is that Noel as well shed. And Noel he looks so gorgeous after a shed. I absolutely I uh, in general I adore whenever my snakes they shed because their color seems to be so much more vibrant. It's like you have a Pokemon that just evolves it's just it's really really magnificent to look at and also they get very 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 soft to touch and to hold it's one of my favorite things I absolutely love it also we did have some visitors it's not only friends and families who come up here in the reptile room sometimes we also have friends of friends who just wants to come by and maybe work with the fear of snakes and all that kind of stuff and I really love doing that I love it every time people come by usually they're a bit shy in the beginning a bit careful there is a lot of different snakes up here here, tarantulas, all kinds of creepy crawly things. So it can be a bit scary getting up here. After a couple of minutes everybody seems to calm down and in general we're just having a really really good time and I absolutely love it. I think I dragged every single one of my friends up here. Now I kind of calm down a bit more. People can choose whether they would like to go up here or not when they visit me. I don't force them anymore <laughs> but usually every time someone comes home to say hi they always want to go up to the reptile room. Even my small nephew and nieces, I can barely get them inside the door before they go, can I hold a spider auntie? Yeah, it's becoming it's becoming quite popular and, and I really love it. Oh yeah, and the latest news, I went to my sister and her husband, they celebrated their 30th birthday birthday. <laughs> they celebrated their 30th birthday and they asked me if I wanted to bring baby and of course I did. So we brought baby and as you can see she was quite the success. It's really, really funny how when people talk about snakes, they have no problem telling me how disgusting they are, how scary they think they are, all that kind of stuff. But as soon as you bring out the snake in front of them, some of them do get a little bit scared and move away. But after a couple of minutes, everyone has to get back in there. Everybody has to, to touch and to hold it and to really, really try. I would love to talk, I really, really would. But if I can feel that they only have negative things to say and they only want to bash me or bash my animals, I pretty much just stop the conversation. I am not interested in defending my animals. If you only have bad things to say, not at all, then I don't need to talk to you. But if you're interested, if you want to learn, it's okay if you're scared. I don't mind at all. Uh, not at all. As long as you keep a civil tone, at least, being interested, asking questions, I would love. I would love to share everything with you. Same goes for everyone out there. No matter what, I would love to share it all with you. So at the party as well, uh, I also brought Artemis and as you can see we brought him out on the grass and Artemis he was so fast so it was a really good thing that Timmy was on his tiptoes. But as you can see in general there are some very very uh, frightened people holding baby and as you, you can see some are clearly keeping their distance but in general it was such a nice experience and baby she's so nice she's so tolerant and a lot of people really really fought their, their fright 
fright of snakes I think it's called you know what I mean a lot of people they went home from there not being that scared of snakes anymore and that's a huge thing that's a huge step to take I'm so proud of every single one of them and I really do love being a part of it I really really do now I want to talk a little bit about my mistakes because I'm certainly I'm not perfect and I do make a lot of mistakes I really really do and mistakes are okay none of us are perfect but when you see a mistake you should definitely try to fix it it is you you fixing it, you wanting to fix a mistake that really does make you a perfect reptile owner. Here I am uh, and this is uh, a bit scary but this is the most important part. This is where I tell you what kind of mistakes I've made in the video especially if I gained new knowledge and I have. There are two mistakes that I've made in my earlier videos. The first one is a funny one uh, that's in my meet my five tarantulas video where I presented my Gramostola pulcribus, my uh, uh, satina, my, my golden tarantula I really really love her. In Latin her name is a Gramostola pucribus but she also has this more common name and I called her a Chicago Golden Knee and that's that's not right, it's called a, sh a Chaco Golden Knee. I, I did not see that until after like several people wrote it and they were like, it's not called a Chicago Golden Knee, it's a Chaco Golden Knee. And I was like, no, 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 I'm pretty sure I've always remembered her as a Chicago Golden Knee. This must be right, you must be wrong. And then I looked into it and of course they were right, she isn't called a Chicago Golden Knee. A Chaco Golden Knee. But the reason why I had written a Chicago Golden Knee was that uh, I, used, I used the word Chicago written in in gold inside my mind as a way to remember what her name was called. So basically what you saw on the screen was the way that I remembered that her name was a Chaco Golden Knee. Guys, I'm really sorry. Uh, it's a bit of a funny mistake and all of you who caught it, well done, really well done. I didn't see it, so, so very well done. A Chaco Golden Knee not a Chicago Golden Knee. The other mistake I did is that when I did my uh, ball python video, the one for uh, mom and dad, I did one specifically for parents to watch, I write that the feeding schedule for a uh, young ball python should be once every eight or tenth day, I think, and for an adult once every month. That's how I'm feeding them. And I did some research because a lot of people were writing me that, no, 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 you should feed them every week. So I thought, hmm, I might be wrong, so I better look into this. So I wrote to a different people, one of them, being uh, Mike and if you have not yet met Mike you should totally go to his Instagram I've linked to it right here Mike has uh, a lot of absolutely gorgeous looking ball pythons and I know that he's also planning to breed I think I hope I'm right Mike <laughs> if not I'm sorry Mike is very experienced in what he does and he is the nicest person on the planet so I wrote Mike and I said Mike can I uh, ask a question I need some advice and he was like sure so Mike he told me and basically Mike as well as everybody else told me that it is normal you feed them once a week. So I've been pondering that because I used to feed Noel once a week. He got fat, like really really fat. So I stepped it down <clears throat> a little bit. It's very difficult because the way I'm feeding right now works for me and my animal. They are healthy, their chest looks perfect, they eat, they poop, nothing wrong with them at all. I, I am pondering because everybody seems to agree that once a week is the proper way to feed your ball pythons even though the way that I I feed them works perfectly fine. So what I'm gonna do now is that I'm gonna feed the uh, Purple Passion I have. I'm gonna feed her once a week, if not more, because she really needs to gain weight. And I'm gonna continue feeding the others how I'm usually doing. And then I'm gonna see if there's any difference, like the, does the other one look more healthy, all that kind of stuff. As soon as I see any deteriorating in, in their health or any issues with their health, anything that tells me that something is wrong, of course I will change it. And I urge you guys to do the same. If you're being told there is a better way you can do it, you should absolutely look into the other way. I always condone that always listen to what people say do your research but you don't always have to do what other people tell you to do just because they say it always do your own research and do what is best for your animal keep them as a first priority moving on I thing I want to talk about is all the questions that you guys have sent me and you have sent me so so many but I do get a lot of questions specifically on tank size and many of you haven't answered yet and that's because I'm no expert and I've never ever said that I was so I have to do 
you, whenever you ask me a question, it's not always that I have the answer. I too have to do a lot of research when I, when I write you back. I want to condone you guys to do the same. When it comes to tank sizes, I am planning on doing a video with all the, the, the standard measurements for tank. It's gonna focus on boas and on ball pythons. I think I will be doing that one next week if I have the time for it. I know it's very, very spoken for, don't worry, it is coming. All right, guys, that's all for today. I really do hope you enjoyed this very first episode of Sundays with Jossel's Jungle. Tarzan, no! As usual, if you have any comments or questions, please don't hesitate to write it right down below in the comment section. Also, please give the video a like so I know that you like what I make. It really also does mean a lot to me. And while you're at it, just hit subscribe on that channel. As usual, you can find me on Instagram under the name Justice Jungle. Thank you guys so much and bye bye.